Well, good morning, and welcome to Living the Dream. I'm Jim. And I'm Mark. Alright, so welcome back, and you probably can see that we are dressed completely different. No, we're not. We are, from the original video. Oh. And I thought you meant that we normally are dressed like Slavs. No, we are normally Slavy. Um, and that we are sitting in a different motorhome. So I get, what do the kids say? They always say, uh, so we did a thing, or oh my god, I just yeah, did so a thing. Yeah, we did a thing. Yeah, we did a thing. We're not going to say that, but Because we're we, not children. No, old. well, we're... Oldies. We are old. <laughs> So anyway, um, we did. We traded in our 2018 Thor Hurricane 34R uh, on this large, uh, ghastly, beastly, hulking, hulking, bulging, bulging creature uh, bus. So this is a Newmar Essex tag axle diesel pusher. Yeah. Yeah. Thank big. God that doesn't come with a name tag because it's a lot to say. Uh, but in any event. Um, this coach was used and Margie and I had actually planned on looking at something down the road, probably a couple, two, three years. Yeah. You know, somewhere in that time frame, just because the Thor, it, it had treated us okay, but we did have um, some problems with it. Uh, one of which really concerned us and it was always weighing on our mind when we traveled, um, on the left side slide of the Thor. Uh, there were two uh, holes where the wiring would come into the motorhome and these these holes were literally cut jagged i mean it, it it looked like shark's teeth it was so horrible and we'd have several occasions where when we opened that slide uh, we would hear an explosion a puff of smoke and then half the coach wouldn't work um and, I'd and have a heart attack yeah and she would have a heart attack and we fixed it repeatedly well we didn't we had folks fix it um, but they did not fix it the way it probably should have been. So in New Orleans last year, if you watch that video, you see that we had a man, our man Peanut, uh, come out, the local RV guy. Peanut And rocks. he did, a, yeah, he does. He did an amazing job fixing the wiring, but he had mentioned to me. Uh, he gave us a little education as he well. He really did. Helped. Yeah, we electrician by trade. Um, so he had showed me these two entry points, uh, one of which under the dinette and one of which into the slide wall. And I would encourage you folks to, to take a look at that wiring. I knew not of this until he showed me, but we wound up having to go to the local Walmart, Walmart and purchase some rubber gaskets and you know try to seal up those jagged holes, which would only have become a problem down the road. So in any event, they did work. Our last trip to Ho-Hum uh, went off without a hitch, literally, with the cats and the motorhome uh, performing. I do believe that was our only trip without any issues. It really was, which is sad to say because we bought it with, what, 1,200 miles on it, exactly, I guess, the distance between Indiana and, and Florida. Um, so in any event, this this Newmar Essex uh, wheeled into the dealership where we happened to work, and again, we had no intent on purchasing anything, but I decided because I was on a break and bored that I would look through this thing, and that was probably the first mistake. Uh, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It is a 4502 floor plan, and uh, above me, you're probably seeing it come into view if it hasn't come in a little bit earlier. Um, but it really had all of the stuff on our checklist having spoken to other RVers, watching some of you other YouTubers, uh, and then just the experiences, both positive and negative, that we had uh, with ours. So one of the things that I was looking forward to was an all-electric coach. So this thing has absolutely no propane on board. Uh, it does have 10 batteries, eight house batteries, and two uh, chassis batteries. Holy cow. 
Yeah, a lot of batteries, which we probably should have rethought when we have to replace them. <laughs> um, but in any event, it had the all-electric coach. Um, it does have the Aqua Hot uh, system that keeps the motorhome warm. Um, but just a couple of things that we really liked as far as the uh, the furnace burners and, and the electric heat when you're plugged in, uh, etc. So I also was looking for that side radiator. Uh, some of the research that I've done seems to suggest that that's a little bit safer, not 100%, and obviously you can skew numbers any way you want depending on where you're at at the survey. Uh, and also we wanted pre-def. Um, we think it's hard enough to pull this thing in and, and get fuel, and it just seems like most of the diesel pushers, uh, some of the def intakes weren't in the right spot, so that would mean Marge would have to pull this thing forward. And, um, oh, well. God. If you guys want, I'll rerun the video of her bicycling accident. You'll see that. Not funny. <laughs> she doesn't do real well with things like that. So anyway, we wanted, um, again, specifically more me for the outside, right? Something that handled quite well. I didn't really care about the tag axle, uh, even though folks suggested that the airbags and the tag axle make the thing ride incredibly uh, safe and stable, and they were not wrong. So shout out, double thumbs up to all you guys. Uh, and also, you know, thanks for making us go broke. Um, so I didn't really care so much about that. This is in fact 45 foot, so we believe it is a Huge. nine foot jump uh, in length um, from, from what we had. And plus, you know, being that diesel pusher um, class A, that the wheels sit behind, so a little bit of a learning curve on, you know, going from the wheels, you know, sitting below me to behind me although it worked out quite well at the pilot when we were hooking up with the wandering <laughs> with the weights and i went the wrong way um so that actually worked out quite well so again some of the outside stuff uh storage absolutely incredible storage this does have the raised rail so we get a lot of pass-through storage um the thing that i wasn't excited about but it was on board this coach were the uh, slide out trays that are automatic um, and what we have found well, we still is got a lot of room even with the automatic there is but you, you know guys who know me or girls who know me know that I'm not really a fluff guy so everything and there's a lot of fluff in this thing. yeah there is so everything in this motorhome is motorized right yeah it's even all the power uh, what do you call these the, the, the window shade shades are motorized yep, um, everything obviously you know the slides There's but the, the table in here yeah the table is motorized um the every table. single yeah. thing in here runs on a motor which again there's there's four additional motors downstairs that just lead to things maybe not working so well um so anyway that's something we'll deal with as time goes on couple of little things that we're going to work on with our be there rv repairman uh, matt and his brother nick Shout out to them and to Eric for training them so well, right? Yeah. They have they have kept us off the Sunshine Skyway Bridge outer rail on numerous occasions. So shout out to those guys uh, and, you know, appreciate everything they've done for us. So again, uh, with the outside, a little bit more expensive with tires. We went from 19 and a half to 22.5 and then a So how about the inside? I don't even know where to start. So the floors are polished ceramic so no scruffed up linoleum like we had in the old one yeah and even um, when we bought that brand new again it hadn't been used oh, yeah, it was 1200 miles it, was it already still, had cuts from the slides and stuff yeah, yeah scuff marks that i thought were dirty couldn't get them out um the cabinetry everything is wood actual real wood the countertops are I believe granite. I'm not really sure. Yeah, or that cor cor Corian. Corian, Corian maybe Corian. Yeah, and we think the cabinets um, doing some research. We think the they shower. actually partner with the Mennonites. I think the Mennonites yeah. actually oh, yeah. make yep. their cabinets. So for they're. Them. I mean, even the inside. There's you're, you're not finding any fiberboard or plywood or anything in this thing. Um, it's just it, it's just better quality. A um, lot of cabinet space. A lot of drawers. We have a few drawers that we haven't even put anything in yet, but we're still trying to figure out where to put things. Yeah. Um, and we're not we're not going to add any cats to the cloud. Yeah, so, yeah, no, so don't don't think no we're going to. No propane. It's a glass top stove, which is nice. Um, and we haven't figured micro. out if that runs on the inverter yet. All oh, right, we, we were going to test that. that. Yeah, one yeah. thing that we also liked was this thing has a 3100 watt inverter on it. And when I asked Ian, our our salesman from the dealership, you know, I said which outlets run the on the inverter and he said all of them and i thought geez that doesn't make any sense because our I'm thor like, had, I, yeah. maybe he's not too sure but they, they do yeah he was 100 so percent everyone sure. we've checked runs on the inverter so. yeah the thor had one uh, in between the two rear tires and i think one in the bathroom <laughs> just just and places that you would not think didn't work 
the workstation. Well, work it wasn't wired to the inverter. Yeah, right, it worked it the outlet. It just didn't work. Yeah. You would think. Yeah. But anyway, so Thor, so. if you're listening, you got to put an outlet up front for the folks. Like again, you know, uh, Danielle from um, I always screw this up. Taylor's Travels, trailer, right? Yes. And little Val from Wandering with the Wades, emphasize little. Um, these folks do some work on the road, so you gotta you gotta hook them up with an outlet, right? That actually yeah. is uh, is functional. So what else? So convection microwave, which I still don't know how to use. It's, I understand it's just like using well an air cooker. So I just have to read the directions. Um, has a washer and dryer, which look brand new, but from people we've spoken to, I don't think that's something we're gonna keep. Yeah, um, comment below if you've had problems you with know, your washer and dryer. Everyone we've talked to says well, has they, trouble with it leaking. Yeah, that's but, where it becomes a leak spot or a you point. You know, my of, thing is, we're we're not if we are going to be going that long. Most of the places we go to have decent laundry yeah. services, and we could stand and, to walk. And not only that, but that whole cabinet I could use as a pantry. Yeah, you know, um, that'll give us room. You know for the millions of cat stuff we have to bring. Yeah, stuff. treats, and occasionally we carry something for us yeah, as we, well. Yeah, we get to bring a few groceries ourselves. Yeah. The um, the shower's wonderful, it's huge. It's got a little seat in it, and again, inside is, is either granite or corian, whatever that is. Um, but it feels good, right? It doesn't feel like you're gonna fall, oh, yeah. fall through the like, floor either. Oh, yeah, it feels like a shower, but yeah. it, it doesn't feel like, you feel like in some of them, th there's no pressure. And you just feel like you're you just don't get a shower this this is just really nice yeah which we found interesting because we stayed in this motorhome a couple of nights uh, before we left just to kind of acclimate and acclimate the kittens and so forth and we used the water pump for the shower better. and boy I'll tell you it threw some it threw some water out of you kind of yeah. like a Kramer episode right from the side almost film. almost tempted to use that as opposed versus to the, the city pressure, water. yeah, the yeah. Pressure's a lot better well we're not but gonna. even even on the city water, the pressure's much better in this. Yeah. Um, cool thing too, when we had our original G-Town, the Georgetown Forest River, which was our first motorhome, and again, we, we started RVing solely out of necessity because at that time we had two Malamutes of St. Bernard and two cats. Uh, we taught up in the Ocala area, uh, the Ryder Academy for Harley-Davidson, and it was a little difficult to find a hotel, although we had a great time at the Howard Johnson's. That worked out good. Uh, we mistakenly stayed at another hotel because it was closer to visit a friend who was hospitalized at the time and we had a large dog fight on the fifth floor uh, some broken fingers and bite marks later and decided that you know the hotels were no time longer to go. yep time to go um, so that's how we started RVing and then we kind of got into the recreational RVing probably because of the tailors troublemakers right? yeah they are troublemakers yeah so i don't wish you any harm but you know if it happens no just kidding <laughs> just teasing so the georgetown actually had a floor plan that we loved with the exception of it only had a couch and dinette on the left side and that would be occupied by, by the four hundred thousand pounds worth of animals that we had so marge and i would wind up sitting in the front seat or the passenger seat and that didn't work out so when we located the thor the 34r it was really because of the floor plan uh, it had opposing slides, opposing seats, and a dinette, and we still wound up in the front seats. Floor. Yeah, so that didn't work. But the cool thing was the shower was on the right side of the motorhome, and the bathroom and sink um, commode area was on another side. Well, on the obviously the opposite side, and we really thought that that worked out well, and we did not see that ever again. Well, lo and behold, the 4502 Newmar Essex, similar, similar, right? So the shower is a separate room, uh, and you're seeing that again uh, is from the bathroom, and then the vanity where Marge can get herself all dolled up. Um, <laughs> contest and hell, no. Um, it has a separate sink as well. So originally we thought, geez, you know, a water pump control at the kitchen sink, a water pump control at the bathroom, the bathroom and I'm like, you know what? You can't walk three feet to turn on the water pump. Um, that is nice. Well, yeah, not realizing because I don't do dishes that that it is convenient but to be able figure, to turn it on. Here's the thought process: if you get up to use the bathroom during the night and try navigating out in the dark, especially since we're up, you know, half a dozen times to go to the bathroom at night, um, instead of coming in, turn on the pump and just do it in the bathroom. And go in. True. Never thought of that until you just said that. Yeah, I just so thought another, of it. Yeah, you know. another valid point. Yeah, so we're learning as we go. Um, some glitches, uh, even though the light switches are marked. <laughs> they're marked for people with with 18 year old eyes not 58 yeah, year old not, eyes well, i wouldn't say they're glitches they're just well the glitch is we had lights turned on in the living room area and we turned every single light switch on that we could find button you know etc and we could not figure it out by the time we get used to all the buttons 
we're probably not going to RV for another month and we'll forget them all. where they yeah. all are. And but we're not the only buttons. ones, we're not, right? And we know somebody who's several lots away from us at this very RV park that had a little trouble with her Wi-Fi today. Um, certainly, you know, you get frustrated, etc. So continuing, um, king size bed, that's a sleep number? Sleep number, yeah. Right. Uh, and, oh, we'll back up to... Yeah, so coming okay. back to the little... So, we apologize for the interruption there, but my battery decided to not cooperate. So furniture is all leather, which is really nice. Um, the couch can probably seat three or four people. And then this is actually a Chase Lounge, but... It, could also seat a couple of people. Yeah, they're nice big on the me. J shape, right? Yeah, nice for me because of my ankle. I can sit here, and it's my left ankle, so I can put my foot up. Yeah. But it, um, geez, almost every, with the exception of the pull-out sofa, has under storage underneath the, all the but furniture. But that pull-out sofa worked out well because we did not know this. Um, it actually turns into, what is it, a queen size? I don't think it's that. I think it might be a full size. All right. So either a full or a queen size. We're not sure. Um, but it's an air mattress and we're like, geez, how are you going to blow this thing up? And All I right, just God, happened geez. to hit my head on the cabinet overhead, believe it or not, <laughs> that we didn't is. know it was there. And there was the pump and you know, nice because we have literally water. a minute. If yeah. Not. And comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Marge decided to try it out so we could just test out the cats and see how that went, whatever. So it was pretty good. Yep. So all in all, um, this is it. Uh, Newmar Essex, other, now no, known as Storm and Norman. Um, no more Noah's Ark. Uh, so he's going to be going on several well, we trips with us. Well, we the traveling we litter box. No, the big old litter <laughs> box. That was going to be the box. new channel name, but oh we decided God. to stay where we're at. Anyway, leave a comment below, post some pictures, let's see your RV, let's talk about some stuff that you got planned. Uh, stay tuned, we got a couple of videos coming out in the near future, one from Savannah, Georgia's Creek Fire RV Resort. Um, maybe some drone footage. Ooh, yeah, forgot if about I the don't, drone. Uh, if I don't get, if it doesn't get yeah. eaten by the alligator that's in the lake across yeah, from us. Yeah, there's supposedly an alligator out here, I haven't yeah. seen him yet. Yep. Just watch out for the little duckies. Yeah, be careful. So until then guys, keep living the dream and we look forward to seeing y'all again. Ciao. Bye.